Hi, my name is Stacy Pearsall. I'm a retired staff sergeant from the U.S. Air Force, but I'm at BNH today doing a demo with the Veterans Portrait Project. I enlisted at the age of 17 in the U.S. Air Force. For 10 years, I traveled all over the world telling the military story, even at war. As a combat photographer, I would be right there where the bullets were flying. And it was a real honor to tell the story of those guys so up close and personal, to really relate to them, to have that experience, that once in a lifetime experience. For me, they were the heroes. I was just there with the camera to document it. Their weapons were guns and mine was the camera. I really felt that that was my true mission in life. The Veterans Portrait Project started for me after I was wounded in action in 2007. I spent time recovering in the hospital where I met several veterans who I thought were absolutely amazing. A World War II veteran asked me if I was taking my grandfather to his doctor's appointment. And I smiled and said, no, I'm the veteran. Which he in turn smiled and had this look of, um, I don't know, befuddlement. But what happened was we started a conversation and I thought to myself, this man is a national treasure. I should be taking his portrait. So I brought my camera to my doctor's appointments and started taking portraits of the veterans whom I shared the VA hospital with. And then instead of making doctor's appointments, I was making appointments to take photos. And what went from one veteran turned into 300, turned into 3,000 today and growing. And it's my endeavor to photograph veterans nationwide. What separates the Veterans Portrait Project from any other portrait series is my connection with the veterans. I suppose it's my history and my ability to connect with them that helps open them up and helps me to capture the real person past that exterior persona. These are the guys and gals that you walk next to in a supermarket and don't even know their extraordinary stories. My job is to really peel back that layer and expose that inner hero inside of them. Now most veterans will not admit to being a hero whatsoever. They just said they did their duty and served their country. No different from anybody else who wears the uniform. But let's face it, the fact that they volunteered, raised their right hand, and committed their life to service is heroic enough. So what's the story with the grenade pen? you got to tell me. Uh, well, that was this thing. Oh, gotcha. And that was my last pen. Oh. Eight bullets and one pen. So I'm still here, but a lot of guys aren't. And the Iraq vet, uh, two Iraq vets helped me. Early on, you feel like you want to go back and finish what you started. And then later on, you feel like you have unfinished business. You shouldn't have said it to the uh, cleaners, they shrunk it. Well, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lousy tailor. You gotta sign a re-enlistment form. <laughs> <laughs>
this project is fairly therapeutic for me. And I would never anticipated it being therapeutic for the folks that I was photographing, honestly. For me, during the process, I was feeling validated. Yes, generationally, they may have been from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Desert Storm, but our experiences were the same. I had never anticipated that. Furthermore, I would have never thought in a million years that they would feel safe enough to confide in me all that they do in the first place. That to me is truly humbling. These stories that I'm telling, albeit through portraits, are equally as important to me. What I found in covering war wasn't about the stories or how beautiful the pictures were or how maybe it may have changed the tides. Often people ask me what were my best pictures that I ever took. And those weren't it. The best pictures I ever took were the last portraits of the men who gave the ultimate sacrifice. They're the pictures that you'll never see, but the pictures that mean so much to so many. They're the last bits of life that they had on this earth, and I am humbled to have had the opportunity to be there in that moment. The Veterans Portrait Project is a reflection of those portraits. It's my way of thanking these veterans for their service. They may not have died on the battlefield, but they gave so much of themselves. We're willing to sacrifice themselves for us. And to me, they're superheroes. I want to lift them up and put them on pedestals because that's where they belong. And ultimately, the Veterans Portrait Project is my opportunity to do that and to share them with you.